Um, I think the practice games have been very good for us, for us to see conditions. Um, a lot of the guys have played in the shorter form of the game over in India, but they haven't played against the Red Boar in preparation for Test cricket. So I think it's been good for the team. Um, and the second part of your question, what was that again? Uh, we need to score more runs, we need to take more catches, and we need to get more wickets. They're the three areas we need to improve. Uh, very good, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a lot better than I was before I left for Australia, and I'm 100% I'm fit and looking forward to the Test match. Uh, look, I think at the end of the day, you have to get out to somebody. Um, as a batsman, that's the way the game is. And the more somebody bowls, the more overs they bowl, the more likely they are to take to take wickets. So I think their spinners bowled a lot of overs, uh, hence the fact they got a lot of wickets. But it's an area of our, of our game that we need to continue to improve. We know that we're going to be facing a lot of spin bowling against India um, in all four test matches, but certainly in this first test in Chennai. Uh, so, you know, the boys have been working as hard as we can at training. Our preparation's been fantastic, and now we need to wait and see what happens in the game. Uh, David Warner has improved. He continually improves every day. He faced the bowlers in the nets today. Um, so at this stage, we're very confident he'll be fit for the first test. Uh, we haven't picked our team at this stage, um, and I have, certainly haven't... Um, I don't have a batting order for you at this stage, but Shane's in really good form and, and played really well uh, in both innings of the, the three-day practice game. So he will come back into our team. Uh, in what position, I'm not sure at this stage. No, I think we've got a really good squad, so we've got plenty of choices. We have spin bowling options, but our strength as the Australian team for a while now has been our fast bowling. Uh, so we'll assess conditions before selecting our 11. Uh, I think we need, to, uh, we need to do what's best for the Australian cricket team. I don't think we can look too much into how India are going to play and what is, you know, what, I guess, bowlers or conditions, how they suit them. I think the one thing about Indian conditions is, yes, the ball spins as the wicket deteriorates, but it also has variation in bounce as well. And reverse swing, I think, yeah, I think it'll be very important. Uh, I guess we'll find out very soon. Um, I think conditions might be a little bit different on the test match pitch to what it was in the practice game. But look, it doesn't matter who you play, it's not the bowler. It doesn't matter what the name of the bowler is, it's about adapting to the, the ball that comes out of the hand. It's about adapting to the pitch, the conditions you're, you're playing on. So, you know, we certainly won't be intimidated by the players we're playing against. We just have to do our best against every single delivery to have success. Yeah, we see a couple of areas, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. Um, look, I think India, firstly, is a, is a very strong team and even stronger playing in their own conditions. So we know we have to be at our best to have success on this tour. Um, but in saying that, I'm very confident that we can perform well here. I think the boys have had really good preparation in, in getting used to the conditions. Uh, and I'm confident that our games have improved in these conditions since being here already. Uh, I think a lot of the guys have adapted really well to, to the different pitches that we are accustomed to in Australia. And now it's not about what we say, it's about what we do. So all the guys are looking forward to this first test match. Yeah, it's a very positive sign for the first test. Uh, as, as Michael said, our batters have worked extremely hard against spin. We, we, we've had guys come out here pretty early and they've had concerted practice. So I was very comfortable with the way they played the spinners yesterday in, the, in that later session. I'm really happy that, that we were actually forced to follow on. It gave our batters another opportunity in these conditions um, to, to get accustomed to them. Uh, I think just playing in these conditions is a real, a real positive. I think for guys to have uh, some cricket under their belt leading up to the first test match is a real positive. I think the fact that they've faced a lot of spin bowling, um, they've faced a lot of reverse swing bowling, so it's, you know, playing in the game is always better than batting in the nets. So in regards to preparation, I think it's been fantastic. Uh, I think Sachin, Sachin got 100 most recently, so no, I think he's in really good form and he's a, a huge player for India and somebody we have to, um, I guess, try and get out as early as possible because he does know how to make a lot of runs and he knows how to make big hundreds. Um, it's a challenge, no doubt. I, I don't think the challenge is any bigger in my mind because Ricky and Michael aren't here. I, I think it's an opportunity for a couple of the other uh, now senior members of our team to stand up. Um, which is fantastic for our team. We've got a really young team at the moment. Um, 
the boys, uh, like I say, are training as hard as they possibly can, and, and that's my main focus, is to make sure we are as well prepared as we can be. Uh, every day we get out of bed, we're looking to get better. And I don't think it changes you know, my role as, uh, as a batsman, first and foremost. I need to be making sure I'm scoring runs and, and leading from the front. And as a captain, I still think I've got plenty of support in regards to guys on the field, and I've always had a lot of support with guys off the field in regards to our support staff. Ah, so sp specifically, we, we talk all the time regarding strategy. We talk all, all, all the time about the direction we want the Australian cricket team to go in. I think that's really important. We talk about the brand, that, that, that a brand of cricket we want to play. So we're continually striving to improve and, and striving to make the Australian cricket team the best team at, in, in world cricket. Uh, like I said, I think India are a fantastic cricket team. Uh, and even better in their own backyard. So, no, for me, the focus of the Australian team is, uh, is completely on us. We need to make sure, like I said, we are as well prepared as we can be, and we need to make sure we're doing all the right things to play the brand of cricket that we want to play. I think we can take a lot of confidence um, out of the Australian summer. We competed really well against South Africa, the number one test team in the world. We beat Sri Lanka in our most recent test series. So the guys are full of confidence, and we're looking forward to this challenge. But like I've said before, if you're not at your best in these conditions, you won't beat India. I'm going to be tired, aren't I? Um, oh, look, I think it's, it's part of your job and responsibility as an Australian cricketer that you want to be the best you can be. Uh, you want to help the team win. That's what's most important to me. So if I have to bowl, I look forward to that. Um, I want to make sure I'm scoring runs and leading from the front, and that is my first focus. My main focus is to make sure I'm, I'm scoring runs. And like I say, I think everybody in the team or in our squad will have to contribute at some stage throughout this series to have success. Whether that's with the bat, with the ball, in the field, off the field, it's going to take a full squad of players and support staff over the next six weeks to have success in India. I'd like to call every player in our team an all-rounder because I think it's very important the more guys you can have doing more than one um, facet of the game, the better for the team. So I'd like all the batters to be able to bowl and I'd like all the bowlers to be able to contribute and make runs. Um, I think we're lucky in our squad that we have a good variety of players. We have good options in regards to selection and we'll work out what we think the best 11 players are for the conditions in Chennai. Uh, to have success and we'll, we'll go with that for the first test match. So, yeah, I, I don't think you have to play an all-rounder, but I think we're lucky with the Australian squad that we have that option. Uh, it's never easier to play here, that's for sure. It's really tough conditions. Um, and it's always been, for the Australian cricket team, it's always been a hard place to win, to have success. I think the IPL and Champions League has played a huge part in regards to... Um, international players getting used to um, the country conditions you play in, uh, the climate, the food you eat, the hotels you stay in, the culture. So I think that has certainly helped in regards to just about everybody in the Australian squad has been to India. It mightn't be for Test Cricket, but they've been here for some, whether it's IPL or Champions League. But in saying that, Test Cricket is a lot different to, to T20 Cricket, that's for sure. Um, it's, like I say, it is always a tough tour to come here and, and have success, and we have to be at our best to do that. I don't think anybody is invincible, any country. Um, you know, I think it's, it's always a challenge, like I say, to, it's always harder to beat opposition in their own backyard. Um, I think England played really well. I watched a lot of that series. I know Mickey did and the rest of the Australian team watched a lot of that series, but... Australia and England are different teams, you know, so we won't be looking to try and play like England. We want to play our way. We feel like we have our strengths that we can stick to and we believe our strengths can have success in the subcontinent. So, yeah, there's, um, you know, we've certainly looked at some footage of the, the, the most recent series against England, but that'll have no... Um, I guess that we won't be trying to play like any other team. We'll try and play the Australian way. The second part of your question was... Harbhajan, uh, it's nice to see him back in the squad. I think he's a wonderful player. I think he's a very competitive cricketer and he always loves the challenge of playing against any opposition, but especially Australia. I think he's a very good bowler and we have to play well to, um, yeah, to, combat, to combat him and make sure he doesn't have too much of an effect on the series. But he is a very good player. In regards to the result of the series, right now I'm focused on this first test match, so let's hope it's 1-0 after this first test to Australia. 
good success. Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, the last time I toured, um, I had a test tour here. I was was obviously with South Africa, and we and we uh, drew the series one all. Uh, we played in Chennai, and, and and we actually drew the game here. So, um, yeah, I, I'd like to draw on, on on a lot of those experiences and share them and share them with the, with the Australian cricket team. But as Michael said, we, we've got our own brand. We we, we play our own way. Um, and we play a way that um, hopefully will ensure our success over the next six weeks.